Yeah, she's still not wearing clothes. Uh, hey guys, welcome back to Virtue's Last Reward. Uh, hey, hey there. Any of you guys know what the hell's going on here, or... No, we don't. Instantly hostile. I haven't been out here much longer than you. They grabbed you too, huh? Correct. Nice bow tie. Grab. Oh, yeah. I got in my car, I went to start the engine, and then there was this white smoke. I think we all shared that particular experience. Okay, so... Judging based on the voice, that is not Diana. But, she does have the blue bird. Where did she get the blue bird? The smoke seems to be some kind of general anesthetic. When I woke up, I was in one of these elevators. All five of you were in one elevator? No. Mr. Dio and I were in the same elevator, but... Wait. Which one of you is Dio? That would be me. Hello, Dio. This little guy here is Quark. Nice to meet you, mister. Thank you. Uh, right. Nice to meet you, too. So, what about the rest of you? Tenmi, OG, Alice, and Luna all woke up in different elevators. Okay, so that is Alice. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, you've got it right. So you'd be Ten Miyoji then, right, sir? Yep. And Alice is... Me. Yes, but we woke you up from a coffin in 999, so what are you doing here? I like the new look. Not the lack of clothing, but the haircut. She's Luna. Hello. It's very nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you too. Um, hey. Nice to meet you too. What she's so nervous about? And you are? Right, uh, I'm Sigma, and this bundle of laughs is Phi. Good to meet y'all, I guess. Say that again. <laughs> and this malnourished harpy is Phi. Better? Bastard. Um, are you two... No, we are not together. <laughs> not likely. That elevator was the first time we'd seen each other. I think. You think? Uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. We met just now in that elevator with the letter opener. That's the truth. Uh, yeah. See your bracelet there? Uh, sure. Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. Hmm. And yours. Phi, right? Now let me have a look. Uh, I thought so. Okay, so there's three pair. Quark, you and Dio show them your bracelets. Okay, so they have the blue three pair. They both say pair and have a number three. Just like Phi and I. No, wait, the color's different. Yeah, so... And yours are blue. Oh, sharp eye there. Yeah, shut up. Uh, what about yours, uh, sir? Ten Miyoji, right? Hmm. Show him yours too, ladies. Three solo, three solo, three solo. Green, blue, and purple, I think. I couldn't see it real fast. Oh, red, blue, and green. They're all different. You've all got threes, but your bracelets say solo. Right. You figure it out, then? Figure what out? Figuring out. So, I'm going to run through it before Zero the Third has a chance to jump in. But the goal of this is there are the pairs and there are the solos. If you look, you see the blue door and you see the, the magenta door right there. The goal, this game is color-based. You don't actually need number. Well, you need numbers, but the most important part of this is you need to have the colors to go into the different doors. And I think there's still the law of you have to have... No, 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 no. You have to have three people. You can't go into, like, groups of three or to five. You need three people. The numbers come into play later, but for most most important thing, you have to group up the numbers. Or the Sigma colors. Sigma and I are the red pair. Dio and Quark are the blue pair. Each pair got put in the same elevator. But Tenmi, OG, Alice, and Luna were all solos. So... They were in one elevator. 
So they got put in their own separate elevators. Hmm. Okay, that's great and all, but what do pair and solo mean? Don't got the foggiest idea. Well, that's helpful. I don't know why we're split up like this either. Does anybody know what the three means? I do, but I'm not going to explain it now. Maybe it has something to do with the game. Game? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes! And I'm calling it the Notary Game! Patent pending. Yep. Good old Zero the Third. You guys saw him too, right? That rabbit thing? Yes. In the elevator. He said something about the elevator falling. Also, Zero the Third is an AI. Just want to point that out. I'm pretty sure that's why it brought up AI to me. The others explained that after they'd escaped from their own elevators, they'd gone around the warehouse -y room that we were in and tested the doors. Unfortunately, it turned out they were all tight, shut tight and impossible to open. They'd been about to try to open the door, then one with a nine on it, when Thai and I appeared. So, any chance this one will open? You think we'd have done it last if there was? There's some sort of, I don't know, machine off to the left here, but... Well, give it a shot, why don't you? Dio, shut the fuck up. Hmm. Oh, that's the red. Damn. Well, I didn't really think that would work. <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to force that door with anything short of a tank. Alright, well, how about those three doors over there, smartass? I told you already. Ugh. Each one's got a digital lock on it. We can't pick the lock, and we can't break down the door. Okay. You sure about that? Why would I lie? Because you're a little shit with... A weird hat on your head. Are those lights? Hmm. Okay, are there any other ways out? No, unfortunately. Not that we've found, anyway. Well, the game hasn't started yet. Right. Well, there is one thing I'm a little curious about. And that is? I was the first to escape. That means I know who was in which elevator. I watched all of you come out, after all. Okay. And? Well... I was in the one-third from the right. Tenmyoji was the second out. Your elevator was second from the left, I think. Mm, good memory. Correct. Yeah, that's where I was. Third was Luna. Kay. You climbed out of the rightmost elevator, didn't you? Yes, that's the one. Okay. Dio Cal. and Quark were next. You came out of the elevator next to Luna's, right? Yeah, we did. Okay. And finally... The two of you were trapped in the third elevator from the left. Wait, then... Yes. No one has come out of the leftmost elevator. Are you... Are you saying there's still someone in there? Wait, so... Luna, Alice, Tenmyoji, Quark, Dio, Sigma, Phi... So there's two more people in the elevator. I can't say for certain, but it does seem strange. Maybe we should go take a look. Yeah, good idea. There is one thing I do know about this game, though. Even though I've already said it. Ambidex room. Hey, anybody in there? If you can hear me. Just, I don't know, make something noise. Nothing. Hey, look at this! Yeah, Ambidex room. Is that some kind of card reader? Maybe it unlocks it or something. It does. There's one next to each door. What do you think Ambidex room is supposed to mean? Well, it says it on all six of the elevators. Maybe it has something to do with the game that Zero was talking about. It does. Oh, the Nonary Game Ambidex Edition? Yes. Maybe, maybe not. I don't think we really need to worry about that right now. We should be figuring out what's inside this thing. Anybody got a key card? <sighs> nah. I got nothing. Not even dirt. So they've taken everything we were carrying? Yes. Wonderful. What were you carrying that you're so concerned about, Dio? The rest of us dug through our pockets as well, but it was pretty obvious that Dio was right. 
Also, I don't know why I decided to do it on a crane. My own were completely empty. That wasn't even any lint in the creases. Maybe there's no one in there. No. There is. There's gotta be. What makes you so sure? Because Nonary is nine, and I spent a ungodly amount of time learning about why the number nine is important to the fucking Nonary game. So shut up, Dio. Shut your fucking mouth. Oh, uh, well, um... All right, there we go. What's that? Look, it's opening. It is. There was someone in there. And there she is, the woman herself, Clover. And this handsome Clover. fellow. Clover. Are you okay? Clover! Wake up! Hello? What's going on here? Do these two know each other? What did you do to her? Nothing. She was like that when I woke up. I really wouldn't worry, though. She should be all right. Her breathing is steady. I believe she's only sleeping. He's a nice man. Then she hasn't woken up since they kidnapped her. Uh, kidnapped? Kid yeah. Begging your pardon, but I'm afraid I don't understand what you mean. Where are we? And who are you? Whoa, hold on. How about you tell us who you are first? You leap out of that box dressed like some kind of robot carrying an unconscious girl and we got only your word that you didn't make her that way. I think you owe us an explanation, pal. I'm... Hmm. Who am I? Amnesiac. That's something I've noticed. There's always an amnesiac character. What? I don't remember. I don't remember anything. I have no idea where I am, who I am, even what day it is. If you happen to know any of those things, I would very much appreciate it if you share that information. Well, we don't know what day it is. Not knowing one's identity is... vexing. There is one thing I'm curious about, but I'm not going to spoil it. But... it doesn't make any sense as to why Sigma and Fire are here now. Oh yeah, very original. The amnesiac routine. Please, how are we supposed to take you seriously when you're wearing this, this, this robot suit? We can't even see your face. Hey, it's a fashion statement. Unlike your fucking are you gonna tell someone Confederate forced you that jacket. Thing? I assume so. It seems the most reasonable explanation. When I woke up, I was wearing this armor. I suppose you could call it. You look pretty calm for a man who doesn't know who he is. Well. He can look calm because he doesn't have a face. Look? That's an odd choice of words. I'm wearing a mask. How would you know how I look? <laughs> this guy's awesome. Uh, you know what I meant, you smartass. <laughs> uh, oh, she's waking up. Hello, Clover. Clover. Are you okay? It's good to Come see on, you again. Talk to me. And I see you took your fashion device from Lotus. Where are we? We are in a nonary game, Clover. Once Clover had woken up, Alice explained everything we knew so far. She listened silently, blah, blah, blah. What? No. No, that can't... Don't smile like that, because you're freaking me out. The blood drained from her face, and she wrapped her arms tightly around herself. What did she know? As Alice continued to console Clover, the rest of us turned to questioning the mysterious man in the mask. When did you lose your memory? When? That's a difficult question. I suppose... when I was born. I don't remember anything of my life. Okay. We asked him everything we could think of. Birthday, address, occupation, family, childhood. But all he did was shake his head. I think he has generalized amnesia. It's a type of memory loss. No shit, Luna. People affected by it retain knowledge like language, social common sense, memorized facts, abilities they've learned. But anything that has to do with, um, themselves is just lost. Uh, that sucks. It's a very serious condition. It is. Most research suggests that it's mainly psychological, not physiological. 
but in very rare instances, it has been shown to result from severe head trauma. Do you have any idea what might have caused mm, it? Maybe I had a really bad breakup? <laughs> or it could have been a drug. He was making a laughing sort of noise, but his expression didn't change. With the mask on, there's no way we could tell if he was smiling or not. But his voice sure didn't make it sound like he was. Bullshit. Fuck you, Dio. This guy's obviously full of it. He sounds like Eric. And I fucking hate Eric. That little shitbag. Don't tell me you're actually buying this. Dio's outburst was greeted with an awkward silence. It wasn't that we trusted the robot man, per se. Only that it seemed clear he was in the same boat we were. There was a bracelet on his wrist, too. Close inspection revealed that his armor fit around the bracelet. In other words, the bracelet was simply attached to his arm like ours, not simply part of his suit. So he is, in fact, a human. And just like ours, he had a three on it. It said pair below the three, and that all the text was bright green. Just like Clover's. How long had we been there? Saw and chicken. Had I slept for hours? Days? There was no way to know. They'd taken my favorite watch when they grabbed me and gripped the bracelet and said, and unless it happened to be three o'clock right now, it wasn't going to be very useful for telling time. With the windows in the warehouse, it was possible to even guess what time of day or night it was. Time could have stopped and we wouldn't have had the first idea. I am going to say though, the novel sections are long as shit. Damn it, no dice. This thing won't open. Didn't I tell you that? Shut the fuck up, Quark. Quark. Yeah, well, I just thought. There's a box here. Maybe it's some sort of locking thing, like the ones next to the elevators. Yeah, it says lock. I don't think it's a card reader, though. Huh? Hey, what do you think that is? What? The graffiti over there. See? On the wall? Why did you guys not notice that? The, the, that was the first oh, thing yes, I saw. That. I was wondering what that was. Two milkmen go comedy. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. It's, uh... I forgot what it was called. Maybe it's saying that a pair of milkmen decided to become comedians? Still kind of sounds like nonsense, though. I think it's somebody's way of saying hello. Um, what? You heard me. Yeah, I did. I just... What the hell was that supposed to mean? It's an anagram. Anagram. Why did I not remember the name? An anagram? Yeah. They tried a lot of names before they worked it down to Tella. Come on, seriously? You've never heard of an anagram. It's a kind of, um, wordplay where you move the letters around to create something else. Right? Exactly. Watch. Let's see. With the tip of her boot, Fai spelled out two sentences and dust on the floor. Two milkmen go comedy. Welcome to my kingdom. Oh, okay. If you switch it around... Yeah, that makes sense. Huh. Hmm. Exactly. Seems like somebody was expecting us, doesn't it? Well, what do you think, Tenmyoji? I almost just called him Sigma. Yeah, but... Where are they? Pretty rude to invite somebody over and not even offer them a drink. True. But you're assuming that Zero isn't one of us. Well, considering Zero is an AI. God damn it. Huh? Look. Over there. Let me see. Hi. Shame on you, Fido. Fido. You can't say what I'm about to say before I say it. Zero. I've got a plan, you know. I can't just tell you everything at once. True. Oh, things are starting to get exciting. <laughs> Where are you, you little bastard? Too scared to come out and face me like a man? Well, he would face you like a man if there was a man to face in this room, Dio. Are you an idiot? For once, I agree with Zero. I'm a rabbit. You really think a talking rabbit is a real thing? Of course I don't. You're some kind of CG rabbit or something, probably. Thank you. That's not what I meant, though. Oh! You meant you want to see the person who's controlling me? 
Yes, God touched this one a little too hard. What? Weren't you listening to Fido? She's clever, you know. Wait, then you're saying Zero is one of us? Well, yes. I guess that's one way to put it. Are you really sure? You're responding to our questions and stuff right now. That means you're not just, like, a, a video somebody made. Wouldn't that mean that Zero would have to be controlling you and sending you answers right now? Because it doesn't look like anyone's doing that. I have theories. I do. Well, of course they aren't. I'm an AI. What? I'm an artificial intelligence powered by a quantum computer. I am an artificial insemination. And you will respect my authority. I am artificial insemination. Zero is the one who built me, of course. Zero, yeah, so wait. I guess that makes one of you my parent! <laughs> who give birth to a rabbit? Okay, so at the end of Zero Time Dilemma, or one yeah, of the endings that I led to this. Or a daddy. <laughs> that would be telling. See, yeah. At the end of it, Sigma lost an eye and an arm. Then Akane went off to do whatever the fuck and made Junpei lose his memory. <laughs> but what happened to Junpei? Now, and what happened to Akane? Said, Where did the story leave? That you are. I just do what I'm told to do. And what do you facilitate? Didn't I say? The game, of course! <laughs> oh, the Nonary Game Amptex Edition patent pending. Correct! It's my job to make sure it runs smooth. No. It's supposed to be over. You would think, but you'd be wrong. Also, I appreciate the fact that your entire attire is clover-based. I see that little bracelet. I see the tattoo. There she goes again. She knows something. So, what is the nonary game? Nonary refers to a base nine numeral system, but can also mean something that is, in some way, related to the number nine. Correct. Nona can be used as a prefix as well, where it means essentially the same thing. Therefore, it stands to reason that the nonary game is a game that deals with the number nine in some way. Exactly. Nine is a very, very important number in this game. After all, nine is your goal. Goal? Right. Yes, goal. Here it comes. You see that door in front of you. That's your door. If you can open the door with a nine on it, you can escape. What do and we have to do to open it? And it isn't bullshit with the cue this time, I think. Yes, yes, yes. Let me explain. Look at your left wrists. You see the bracelet? Of course you do. Now, tell me, Fido, what number is on yours? A three. A three. What about the rest of you? They're all the same. We've all got threes. Exactly. Okay. I'm going to call those numbers bracelet points. points. If you're, if you're feeling lazy, you, you can just, just call them BP. Which was also in Zero Time Dilemma. It had BP for one room at the end where uh, Carlos and Junpei played the AB game or Ally Betray. Wait. The, uh, the AB game is a huge part of this. Um, it's a huge part of this. And you know what? Yeah. Only the people who can get their number to nine or more will be able to open the I'm door. Gonna, the I'm not going to finish that thought because I, I don't know where I'm going with it. Okay, so my recording bugged out. The audio was all sorts of crazy. I couldn't use it. And it's kind of towards the pitiful part of it. Pit-toe-full part of it. So just to explain it so everyone's on the same page, there are solos and duos. The solos have to be with the duos in order to get the same color as the chromatic doors to go through them. You have to get nine B 
BP points, or 9 BP, by playing the AB game in order to open the number 9 door. But only the person who got 9 points is allowed to go through. Anyone else will be killed if they try it. I don't know why I decided to do this, but luckily we're covering near the end, so we're just going to resume from there. Sorry about that, and I hope that doesn't happen again. Anyways, we've learned so far. What do I have to do? Escape, open the nine door. How do I open the nine door? I have to get BP. How do I get BP? A, B. Yes, yes, yes. Of course. Anyways, while I'm skipping through this, I'm, I'm going to say it now. I'm not going... I am not going to go down the route I went through when I first played this game. Huh, no way, we have questions. Of course we have questions. Why do you take us? Where are we? And who the hell's real zero? That took nine minutes in the game. Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes ring. Oh, so sorry guys. But it looks like your time's up. Better hop to it and get those secondary doors open. Fuck that. We aren't gonna open shit. Deal, we have to. You can take your lamery game and shove it up your ass. Genius. If you think we're just gonna swallow your psychotic crap and play along, you've got another thing coming, you smart ass little rodent. I'm a rabbit. <laughs> Shut up. Well, shoot. I thought you might say that. Unfortunately, you have no choice but to follow the rules. Why is that? When the time comes, those three doors will automatically close. Correct. If anyone is left outside after they close, they'll... They'll what? They'll be penalized. You keep saying that. What the hell is this penalty anyway? Why do you say penal? Well... Death! Well, that shut Dio up, finally. Your bracelets contain two drugs. The first is an anesthetic called Soparil Beta. The other is a muscle relaxant called Tubocurarine. Your bracelet also has a bunch of needles on the inside. If you break the rules, those needles hop out and inject you. How? First is the silver reel, which puts you to sleep. Nine minutes later, I guess you could say it'll really take your breath away. Yep. You uh. That the Soberil is only there out of the kindness of Zero's heart. Because they didn't want to kill you horribly. Oh, and, and I mean the real Zero. Mm -hmm, not me. Zero just doesn't want to see anybody suffer. Isn't that just so compassionate? So in the first known anyway, game, all it means is that no one was actually in danger of dying except for really. when people got, like, except for when Clover went crazy and Ace went crazy. Of course. None of that will happen if you just fall. So, but in this one, death is an actual real thing that people can do if Three they get penalized. Well then. Death Good can luck, happen. So that's cool. So there was a poison in the bracelet. Seems a little harder to believe. What are we going to do? There's a lot to think about, but we didn't have very much time. But we had enough time to go through half an what hour of explanation. We, for? we need to go. We need to get through these other doors. But how do we figure out which door to go through? You still don't get it? <sighs> really? Fine. Zero's explanation was pretty confusing. So let me put it in small words for you. Thank you, Fine. There Fi. are only three possible options. Option A. Sigma and I pair up with Luna. Our red and her blue can open the magenta door. That would mean Clover and K. With Alice. But that just leaves. Got it. Option then, then B. Then we can go with Ten Mioji. Sigma and I go with Ten Mioji. That means this That's the only D. one I care about. And finally, option C would be where we pair up with light colors to open complementary colored doors. That means Sigma, Alice, and I go through the cyan door. Clover, K, and, and D O Corp. Okay. Problem is, which do we choose? Please, Sigma, choose something. Why are you depending on me? W wait, what? Why if me? If you don't want to, then maybe Alice or Clover can choose. Or Tenmyoji or Dio or anyone. Except Quark. Once one person chooses, everyone else's decisions will be made for them. But please, you have to hurry. We're almost out of time. Okay, fine. Jesus. One minute. Re all right, all right, I'll pick. 
Nobody seems upset, but they probably knew as well as I did that we don't have time for bickering. I took a deep breath and spoke. Okay, fine, I will. I'm going to go with Ten Miyoji. So, I'm going to tell you this now. I went through, originally, I went through the magenta door with Luna. This time, I'm going through the yellow door with Ten Miyoji. I'm thinking we'll go through the yellow door with Ten Miyoji. That sounded good to sure. you guys? Fine. That means Dio and I will go with Alice. And we'll be going through the magenta door. All right, then. Better than getting stuck with that crusty old fart, I guess. Shut the... I don't so, like you. Clover, Luna, and I will be going through the cyan door. Indeed. I don't get to go with Alice? I'm sorry, Clover. I'm sorry. I'll try and stay out of the way. I don't really mind you, but the K guy seems really suspicious. We're all meeting one another for the first time. Aren't we equally suspicious? Hey, I'm nothing like you. Yeah, she'll take an axe to you if you talk to her the wrong way. Ten, By six, the way, what the fuck three, happened to Snake? Until now. Eight, seven. seven. We need to go. The doors are closing. Come on, guys. Move. Three, two, one, zero. Chromatic doors, doors closing. closing. Uh. Okay. I forget where room... I don't... Oh, the infirmary. AED. So this is the... infirmary? Looks like it. That's what it said on the door, after all. What the hell? Why is there an infirmary right next to a warehouse? Well, it's probably here if any of the workers get sick or hurt. What workers? Uh, did you see the size of that place? A little big to just be somebody's garage. Fair enough. Then you're saying people work Maybe here? Maybe not now, but judging from the lack of dust, someone was here until recently. Fair enough. There's a door in the back. Think it'll open? Nope. No way. How can you be so sure? Just look at it. You see that thing next to the door? What's it say? Lock. Lock. What are they grabbing onto when they pull on this? Because there's no seams on there anywhere. No dice, it's not moving. Are you blind? It says lock right there. Yeah, yeah, I just thought, you know, maybe I could force it open. Right. Let's have a look around, okay? Yeah, good idea. Sounds good. There's one of those card keys around here somewhere. Let's get started. 